Hello, Billy Baldwin. I get it. I get it. Once again, making me feel bad about my moon-shaped head. Um, recently, I've been posting pictures and videos on my Instagram that are dot, 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 not slutty. All right. So right there, they're of a risque. Okay, hang on a second. I got I to gotta, I gotta clear my nose here. Hang on a second. All right, this is just one of these things where if I lay down, my nose just fucking just blocks up. But if one second I stand up, it's fine. I don't understand it. Anyways. All right. So you're posting these pictures that are not slutty, but I, I wouldn't show my parents either. Well, all right. Okay, there is, there's a window in there. There's a window in there because they're going to be like, you, 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 your dress is too short. Come on, honey. What are you doing? You, you're killing your father. Right? I'm 26 years old and I've been feeling very confident about myself and my body. Good for you. I'm saying, I wish I felt the same way about my head. <laughs> How can I when everybody makes fun of it? I like my head and I don't care what I believe. Christina Aguilera said it best when she said, I am beautiful no matter what they say, right? And I believe her pussy was as bald as the top of my head, judging by some of her outfits. You know what I mean? I mean, the skirts were so slow, the hair would be hanging out underneath, right? Oh, Bill, why, why, why do you have to be so crass? Because I'm not funny. You know, when you're not funny, you go right to the genitals. I mean, it's one of the oldest oldest is one of the oldest things in comedy i'm 26 years old i've been feeling good about my body but i'm single with no boyfriend or even dating i got to have a good time go buy a fucking suitcase full of condoms and uh jump on it i'm sorry anyways my friend okay anyways my friend since i was 16 has told me that his wife has been uncomfortable with us talking because she's seen my pictures well yeah you sound like you're in the prime of your life. You're obviously crushing it. Uh, she told him she feels insecure and sees my pictures even before he does. He's expressed that he may not be my friend anymore because of this. Well, he's doing the right thing. You know, happy wife, happy life. Hey, she ain't happy. Nobody's going to be happy. Um, why doesn't he just unfall? Uh, I don't know unfollow you can you just do that and you guys could be friends in a different way i don't know it's weird that's all weird i get where his wife's coming from uh she's you know if my wife was some somebody you know and he's he's fucking posting banana hammock pictures i don't feel like i'm gonna be too comfortable with that right swing low sweet chariot sorry um she told me she feels insecure and sees my pictures even before he does. He has expressed that he may not be friends anymore because of this. Sorry, I had to reread that again, but I know a lot of you guys watch reality shows and they always come back and show you what you just saw. And this is not the first time I've been blocked by male friends because... Oh, this is when we need Nia. Because their female counterparts are social media stalking me and claiming I'm trying to get their man. Uh, I've been told to tone down my posts or not write how I feel because the girls take it personally and take it out on my friends. Now, on some level, you know, you, you got to know what you're doing. All right. Here's the, this is the deal. OK. Because men are weak, women are fucking gorgeous. There are certain rules that you do have to follow. All right. And for you to be as beautiful as you are and feeling as confident as you are about your body and posting those pictures, nothing wrong with that. But when you're, you start being friends with all these guys that are, are in relationships, like you're single, go be friends with guys that aren't in relationships. It's, it's, a, it's a tough thing. It's a tough thing. It's not your fault you're pretty and you feel like fucking showing it off a little bit. Not too slutty, not too fucking dad will appreciate this. Uh, anyways, I've been told to tone it down or to or not to rate. I feel blah blah blah. Uh, are these my real friends or do girls have legit reasons to be upset? Yours truly, a huge fan and love to Nia and the baby. Um, fuck, I might have to do an epilogue on this. 
and get Nia. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have. I'm going to answer this, and on Thursday, Nia will give her answer. Look at that, teasing the next episode like a pro. Um, listen, if you're if you're not passively aggressively, you know, being a dick tease just because you like that attention, and you're just legitimately just, you know, like how you look uh, and saying how you feel, then then I don't think you're wrong, but I don't think they're wrong either. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how it works with women, but when a woman is more attractive or makes another woman feel less attractive and is talking to their their guy, yeah, that's going to be... Guys get like that, right? Some guy comes up, you know, he's all fucking jacked. He's got pigment. He's got hair. I mean, how am I going to feel? You know, you don't think I'm going to truck and... Puff up my little freckled fucking chest. You know? Try to recite some line from a fucking Sylvester Stallone movie. Huh? Hey, are you like them apples? Or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Just combine movies. Um, yeah, like this is what I would do. I would just say I, I would respect the women in these relationships. And what you need to do is uh, you need to find some guys that are single to follow you. All right? Knowing what comes with that. Like, oh, my God, you look so hot. Like, that's what you're going to be getting. Uh, You know, but I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, these are great problems to have. I mean, you could be fucking ugly living under a bridge crying every Friday and Saturday night because no one wants to go near you. So, you know, it's nice to have a lot of suitors. Um, I, I, if I was you, I would just, I would, I would expand, uh, my friend's circle. All right. And also, you know what, didn't you say that you weren't posting like that? And then recently I've been posting pictures and videos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, so everything was cool until you started doing that. So that's what changed. See, sometimes when you change as a person, you you lose a few friends. So that's that's what I would say. You're not historically been doing this. You know, I don't know what you had, like your fucking I sell real estate headshot on there. The family values one, and now you're out there like, well, what the fuck? I'm only gonna be young once. I'm gonna go out and have a good time. Then all of a sudden these people locked out of relationships. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have a problem. You're going to have a problem. So I don't necessarily think you're doing anything wrong. I just think that uh, if that's the way you're going to be, you can't be around guys that are in relationships. And in fairness to them, you're going to be causing them to get into a lot of goddamn arguments. All right? And I, I guarantee you at least one of them is thinking about one of your pictures when he bends his fucking girl over. I'm, I'm just telling you, okay, as a guy, that, that's what's happening. And the woman knows it, especially when they mutter your name. <laughs> <laughs> Mumble it. What did you say? I said, uh, we should be sharing more stuff. <laughs> I want to share in my life with you. I have to say, I, I don't know why you're surprised at this reaction because you're out there thirst trapping and these girls don't want their men to get caught in your trap. So even though you may not be trying to... Can you break to, that down for the white audience? What? what? Thirst trapping. She's out there thirst trapping. Thirst trap- trapping means like you post photos that are intentionally like sexy or provocative because you're trying to get likes. You're trying to get While noticed. you pretend that they're not, you're just... Oh, no, this is just even... me eating cornflakes with most of my breast is out. <laughs> no, I don't think that you're necessarily acting like it's not, but... You know, that there's just, like, certain photos that are going to get, like, the ay 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 reaction as opposed the to the, like, ay ay ay. Is this, is there, is there any uh, DT going on here? T's. D. T's. Dick T's? It's a kid's here! Oh. <laughs> as I imitate a vibrator. Uh, I don't know that it's a DT, but it's definitely, like, showing you what... You Your could life be, could be. Yeah, what you could be throwing around the bedroom, for sure. So I don't, I mean, it's not surprising that their their girlfriends and wives or whatever are going to be, like, feeling some type of way if they're liking your pictures. So um, I don't know. I don't think that you're doing anything wrong, but... I didn't write this. I don't think that um, <laughs> they're necessarily wrong either. But here's the thing. 
I feel like that we're going back to one of my earlier, my earliest appences on the podcast. But the only thing is, where... she's been friends with this kid since she was sixteen, so okay, that's different. That's fine. But I also noticed in in her letter that she said that like all of her male friends or most of her male friends. So is this another situation where you've got a girl who's got a lot of male friends? Nothing involved wrong with that. Involved male friends. Involved male friends, and it's oh my god, they're stalking me on Instagram, and oh my god, they're such haters, and like, are these men really my friends? And it's like, listen, you just have to understand, like, you have to kind of be a grown up about this. Like, it's one thing for you, like I said, to post thirst trapping pictures. All your girlfriends are gonna be like, yes, oh my god, you're giving me life, you're so hot, look at you, bam, all that kind of stuff. That's what your girlfriends and like your gay friends are for. What does thirst trapping mean? I just told you what it was earlier. Did I you? Said, yeah. I said when you're posting a picture that's intentionally provocative or sexy to get likes. That's like a thirst trap. Oh, in other words, you're not really going to hook up with anybody. No, you're just, you're just so all these, posting these a sexy photo. But Thirsty you know, for women. Lady, uh, guys are showing thirsty up. Thirsty for attention. That's, oh. That's what it all is. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm the white cop on Sanford and Son. Um, thirst so trapping. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just not surprised that they're... So what should she do? Should she step away from these people? No. I mean, step away how? Step away from the car with your hands up. No, do you You have to understand that if you start to move into this space where you're posting sexy photos, your viewership and the way people look at you is going to change. Huge point. If you're okay with that, then keep doing what you're doing. But if you have a problem with it, then maybe you want to pull back a little bit. But yes, people are going to look at you some type of way. Women are going to look at you differently. Men certainly are going to start to look at you differently. And I didn't what, like the certainly, but go ahead. What comes with that territory is that women are going to be like, oh, I saw you liked her photo when she was like, you know, bent over being like, you know. Yeah, yeah. I actually, if I could just. Meet cute or whatever. I don't know. What people if I could write. just insert a point here. They're both certainly going to You're be. not going to insert anything. That's, that's, that's what I know. Hey, welcome to married life. <laughs> Tell you, it's a rough one. Um, both men and women equally are going to look at her differently. Right. Okay. So let's not, let's not turn this into yet another. That's what I said. You said women are going to look at you differently. Men are certainly going to look at you differently. So you gonna, know yeah. how they do. Yeah. Well, okay. So What um, does that mean? Just say what you're saying. Just don't, don't, yeah, well, okay me. Just Yeah, please. I mean, I stand by what I said. You think that, well, why can't you say that so we can discuss it other okay. than doing that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, okay. If, if Lola wasn't here I, right now, I would transcribe what you just said to me. Which is what? Huh? I can't. There's too many F words in it. All dr- <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was like if you put a bunch of F words into a shotgun. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, um... So I think women know what other women are doing. I think you have to expect that, you know, if these women are already uncomfortable with your presence in their man's life, if you start, you know, posting booty shots and all this other kind of stuff and they see that their dudes liking it, they're going to be like, well, she didn't say that she was bending over and any of that type of stuff. She just said this is some stuff that, you know, it's a little more risque, but I, I wouldn't show my parents. Right, exactly. Meaning it's, yeah, it's well, you know your parents. Sexy. I can see your knees. Get back in the house. <laughs> right, you know, exactly. You could have like a priest. But I think you should dad. post whatever. Actually, a, you can't in the Catholic Church. If you're feeling good about yourself and about your body, you should post all the live long day. Just know that it's not going to be this perfect I, scenario where you can just post and no one's going to look at you differently. I, I think, disagree. Fortunately, unfortunately, that's just the way that it is. I disagree with that. With what? With that, you should go and post all these sexy photos of yourself and put them on social media. Women okay. should not be doing that. Why? Why are you telling women what they should be doing with their bodies? There it is. There it is. Oh there, my god! Yeah, that exactly. Was so there it is. And so brave. Yeah. yeah, and there it is from you too. Tell it like I don't think women should post it. Like, who are you? You don't get to decide what people do with their bodies. Can you please not say that expression. What? You don't get to just. You guys all sound like children. Whatever I want to say. You haven't even heard. Stop what... trying to police my words. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even heard what my point is. What's your point? Okay, my my point is. Bah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Nia, you have the way you wish the world was, and the way it really is. Okay. Okay. So to go out there and 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 
do all of that stuff and be all provocative and get all these people hot and bothered. There are so many freaking cycles. It's the same reason why you don't go out there and, and as a celebrity sit there and, and uh, you know, tree stump or whatever the hell you call it for, for, a, uh, for a candidate. All you're doing is just going out there and getting that lunatic in the white van with the two seats that wants to make a pipe bomb and stick it in your mailbox. You're doing stuff like that. You're a good looking person. People are going to know you're good looking. Like literally, social media has been around so long that, that people aren't even understanding that there's no perspective on it anymore. Half of these, so many of these photos that are on Instagram and all that type of stuff, those were like the kind of photos that were in the beginning of a magazine at a truck stop like 20 years ago. And these are just regular women up. But back then, you didn't know where these women were. You couldn't find them on the internet. There wasn't CVS taking everybody's uh, uh, information and you can go on and find everybody's address out there. And you're going to go out there, thirst trapping or whatever the hell you're calling it, <laughs> showing your goods. And you're just, you're playing a, a, there's not a person in law enforcement that would not 100% agree with what I'm saying. This has nothing to do with a guy telling you to do what, what you should be doing with your body. It has to do with somebody looking out for your own personal safety. And that doing that is no different than these effing morons you see out there riding a bicycle in L.A. on busy streets, allegedly in this bike lane that's not even painted, and they have their headphones on. You have, you, you have completely no responsibility for your own personal safety. And then when something happens to you, there's this, this 100% looked at that you're a victim. You are a victim, but there's nothing looking at like some preventative measures. Like, why would you go on the Internet and do that? Just post a picture of yourself smiling. You're a good-looking person, and you'll attract the kind of person you want to meet. You're going to go out there and show your booty crack and your, and your, and your, 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 your ass cleavage there. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you like? Ass cleavage. You even said that if you're going to start showing that, everybody is going to look at you differently, certainly guys. Now, all they're going to think is, oh, I really want to F you, right? That's all they're thinking. That's right. the best you're going to get. Right. That is the best you're going to get with those photos, and the worst you're going to get is an effing stalker. Right. Okay, so that's what I was saying. I wasn't okay. trying to get in your world. I wasn't over here manspreading. I'm just saying doing that, it, it, it's literally like becoming a comedian, posting something on the internet, and then you're going to get upset when someone just tears the hell out of it and says you absolutely stink. And it's just like, well, you know, you're not a victim here. You're the guy who posted, you're, you're the person who decided to get up on stage and people are going to judge you. That's all I'm saying. And I think that women that do that type of stuff, I don't think because they're so young, I don't think they understand the level of effing lunatic that is out there. Mm -hmm. I don't even understand it because women get it way worse. So to go out there and sit there, I mean, that's like when you go to the friggin' alligator farm and they're dangling those friggin' chickens over the thing and all the crocs go in the water. You're out of your mind. Uh, Well, I understand your points, but I still think that people should post what they want to post. It's their life. Just roll the dice that you're in the herd of people showing most of their boobs. I, I mean, and you're not so going to get many clipped. People, sh- yeah, I do because I don't think that you should be living your life in fear of what could happen or what might happen. Because if that was the case, I wouldn't leave the house. Yeah, I'm not talking about going after a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about keeping your ass crack in your pants. <laughs> Well, I respectfully disagree. But the thing is, the points you're Well, we're going to have a problem when so-and-so gets sense. to be a certain age. You, don't you dare tell her that that's going to be okay. I'm not. Listen, we'll see that's the oh, thing about it. Minute. No, no. Wait a listen, now what? Now, rec- now it's your daughter? Now it's not I, okay? I recognize the hypocrisy in this, but I would be like, please don't post that type of stuff on there. But I also know that I, at a certain point, I'm not going to be able to control... What she does. She's not going to be sitting here quietly You've already tapped watching out. You've cartoons. Already tapped out. What do you mean tapped out? You've already out? tapped out. What does that mean? You know, beyond a certain point. I mean, what, what, what age is that? What are we talking about here? When she's 18, she's an adult. I'm not going to No, she look. isn't. <laughs> Think of what you thought. You're, you're 18 as far as the law goes. You're Ugh. not an adult, right? No, you're not. Okay, Nia, you you're and I get... You're a dumb teenager. Yeah, you and I get a divorce, and I'm, I'm with an 18-year-old. What? She's an adult. You're going to be like, she's a child. Oh, my God. I would kill you. I'd kill myself, but Nia, just no, because I say, lost you. No. Oh, God. Huh? Don't say that. All don't right. That. No more romantic little what, not sweet nothings. I don't even know how to be romantic. Do I know how to be romantic? Um, Ooh. you know what romance is. 